Happy Friday, beautiful souls. How are you? And uh, just as, literally as I'm starting the video, it's beginning to rain here in, in windy southern Britain. And uh, won't be long. I'll be talking here. The trees will be coming out in the, with their beautiful spring leaves soon, but not today. <laughs> so you've all had a good week. I've had another powerful week this week, although there wouldn't necessarily be any kind of specific dates or or energy flows that have been made apparent to me that are coming in we've been feeling it we've been feeling that flex in the field and uh we are i don't what one thing that i i'm always very careful not to do um particularly with within this field i know a, a, the, there are a lot of people out there that are kind of quite fluid with with specific predictions but that's one thing i try and stay away from a little bit because quite often with um with the, with the dimensional space that we live in and the scenarios that we are working within and creating at the moment a lot of things that are occurring that we are not expecting they are also fresh creations so the actual picture of what we create or what is actually occurring around us might be slightly different or completely different from the one that we actually visualize because we have never achieved what we are achieving before at the moment this this huge hop from 3d to 5d in such a small space of time like I've said in previous videos, over the course of hundreds, maybe even thousands of years, a planet or a, or a, a species will move from the third dimensional level of consciousness that we all know and love and very familiar with, uh, right, and, and ascend, you know, either physically or non-physically. And that usually happens over a longer period of time. That's something that, that, that will occur over you know in many cases lifetimes but not us okay we're doing it in a very very short space of time we are part of an we are part of a groundbreaking crew we are an ex, we are basically living and ascending during one of the greatest kind of galactic experiments and i do mean experiment as well if you think about what happened during atlantis Although Atlantis was a, a, a revered time, it contained our most recent golden era, we're using the skills, the gifts and the knowledge that we put aside for ourselves now. Again, Atlantis was an experiment and it exists for 260,000 years. It took 10,000 years to set up. Then it ran for an extensive period of time before basically being shut down over the last 10,000 years and it finished on the cosmic moment the 21st of December 2012 so we are in completely fresh territory here at the moment we are we are in a place in a zone that we've never been in before now it's just started to rain I'm gonna put my hat on so just excuse me for two seconds I have it at hand that's better well, at least I can't feel the rain so much now so what I want to talk about a little bit this morning and without making any kind of specific energy predictions is, is kind of what we can expect or what we're going to be feeling over the next six months particularly. Now you've heard me talk about the storm, storm layer in previous videos which was <coughs> set up by Merlin and the Intergalactic Council to basically siphon off and alchemize the very large quantities of lower frequency energies that were due to be released from 2019 to August 2022. Now between now and the Lionsgate I feel or sense I'm also I'm also getting this reflected back by other people in, in, in the spiritual field that we are going to be releasing probably the most intensive quantity of energy that we have seen yet. Now everything that is up for release is past lives, karma, lower frequency energies, anything that has been kind of sewn into the, 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 the kind of the fabric or the matrix or the energetics of our planet and our four body system for the last 10,000 years. And this is going to kind of, I don't think there's going to be any specific kind of 
peaks with this, but it's going to be rolling out very steadily under pressurized circumstances until August. Okay, now when the Lion's Gate starts, it's pretty much where Merlin said that the energy would start winding down. The effects wouldn't be immediate, but the storm layer for its final year will kind of basically not so much peter out, but it will it will diminish in it diminish in its in the speed with which it rotates, which naturally tells me uh, that it will be requiring less fuel. It will be taking it will be taking less of lower frequency and negative energies in there. By no means are we going to be out of the process that we are experiencing at the moment, but it's definitely going to be becoming a lot less intensive, so to speak. But in the meantime, what, what are we being presented with? And I, I know these are kind of more, very much more practical kind of talks at the moment, because we have got practical things to deal with. And the thing that is becoming most evident or most prominent to me is the state of people mentally and physically while we undergo the circumstances that we are being we, we are experiencing with our everyday lives and the almost like the intensity <coughs> or the ferocity of the shifts that we are experiencing at no point in any proceedings where where I don't, I don't think I particularly I was any under under any illusions and I don't think any of you who've been on the pathway were under any illusions that when this shift started it was going to be absolutely it was going to be the most intense thing that we ever experienced because of the way that the last eight or nine years has been presented to us we've been so kind of immersed in our own personal ascension process that I think you know and this is me included kind of overlooked slightly exactly what would happen or how people would respond to it when this planet started changing so this I, the difference between an energy report now and an energy port report at this time last year when when everything really started moving in this direction is that now each of you listening to this will know at least one person who is either in crisis at the moment on a on a mental or a physical level or or, or will will be directly associated with someone so how do we deal with this how do we deal with this as light work so i know i've touched on this subject before but it's it's what we are being what we are being presented with at the moment as as spiritual leaders as teachers as ground workers as light warriors is a huge percentage of the populace who are being forced awake okay there is no the, the the end regardless of personal circumstances it doesn't matter whether it's occurring via lockdown via relationships via jobs via personal spiritual process if you are forced through a gateway a, a an ascension gateway or an awakening gateway or you know for want of a better word you get red you get red pilled um in a very short space of time what occurs usually is a soul who's woke you know when when the when the third eye is stripped away when the bodies and the fields light up when that energy comes in it's actually recognized when the heart begins to detach from the ego and begins to run the show the result is dark night of the soul okay now our dark night of the soul collect the collective dark night of the soul began when the navel chakra um, when the na when the navel chakra globally triggered la the last february we're, we're exactly a year um, in my estimations from the beginning of this process and now things are really really starting to get get working so all around you people will be waking up they'll be breaking out of their constraints their restrictions the 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 most distressing thing or the most jarring thing for people is when their cognitive dissonance is, is the, or, the, or the thing that kept them in, in their state of inertia is shattered when it's taken away, when they finally realise that the picture that they were looking at and they were identifying with on a daily basis actually do, it no longer exists. And of course, the, the circumstances of the changing of the societies, the finances, the working, 
the interactions with other human souls. The, 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 there's a lot of things going on at the moment that are really, really designed to pressurise people. Okay. Now, on an outside perspective, this might look like it is being deliberately done by nefarious forces, and on a 3D level, it is. Okay. The various the the, the various kind of political institutions or governments call them what you want around the globe appear to be aligning to to roll out an agenda which does not look great for humanity and freedom at the other end of it the energy that's working underneath that is far more light is far more powerful what it's doing is it's like i've said previously these are simply actors that are just are playing a role playing the kind of like almost like the the bond the bond baddie villain kind of roles in order for this energetic process to take place but the real realities of it is this is causing stress and it's causing a lot of anxiety it's causing a lot of um when the wind when the wind blows it hits the branches the tree will bend and if the if the if the tree isn't bending correctly then then it will snap and there is there's for want of a better word there is a lot of snapping going on out there at the moment people are reaching crisis point they're reaching maximum density so a lot of you might find at the at this at where you are right now that your teaching roles are changing slightly the people that have been coming to you for a long time and we're talking like you know stable grounded forward moving strong people are all of a sudden they're rattled the 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 the, the world in which they live is changing the circumstances that are, that are being applied to them are no longer static or, or, or supportive. And there is a big wobble effect going on. So just bear that in mind that this energy, this real toing and froing, this, this application of stress is going to be in place probably throughout our spring and the early summer simply because of the way that this energy process is designed. Now, how we deal with this, how we approach it, how we integrate with it is completely down to us, how personally stable we are, how much stuff we've got to personally deal with and, and how we're actually broaching this ascension process. But for those of you who are genuinely having a hard time at the moment, but my hand on my heart and sending you all the love in the world, there is a huge amount of, assist of assistance now being organised and orchestrated to assist not just light workers, not just not not just people on the ascension pathway, but everybody. And I'd like to I'd like to give a shout out for one particular event that is going on, and this is occurring on the 25th of February, and it's being it's being organised by. A lady I've got a huge amount of respect for called Zoe Clues from Zoe Clues Associates in London and it's called Recover Your Spark and what I'm going to do I'm going it's a free event it's running on Thursday the 25th and I will include the link and the details for it and this this will be hosted by three very highly trained very knowledgeable people including Zoe herself who are trained to deal with the stresses and the strains of life and and basically be there on on a on a on a professional level to deal with what's going on you know the 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 forces are now organ are, are organizing this with everything that occurs around us there will always be a counter response to it we're not just being kind of left you know to to roll through this process like willy-nilly there are there is a huge movement of energy there like the the support net is in place all it is it takes sometimes to reach out find the right people find the right group find the right organization and go for it so if you are feeling like this even if you don't normally you're not the kind of person to reach out you're not the kind of person to ask for help if you're feeling that way do it because the it's not just a personal process anymore it's a collective energetic Okay, there are so many people around us at the moment who are feeling microwaved by these circumstances. If you imagine what happens when you put a cup of water in a microwave and you boil it over a period of time, the water molecules get to the point where they, 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 they're, they're vibrating so fast that they boil. 
that we are on we are on high simmer okay energetically at the moment and and the, and the boiling process will will continue uh, so if you are feeling particularly cooked if you are feeling like you need to reach out if you're feeling like you need to step back take a rest if all of the energy that's coming to you is all what you know particularly in our field if all the energy to you, coming to you is one way and you're not taking that time and that space for yourself do it now okay and like I said, I will include the link for uh, Zoe and her, her associates um, event in, 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 the, in, the, in the video when I post it. So yeah, this is, this is more kind of a practical, this is more like a, more of a practical talk this morning. This is more about what's going on directly. It's what I'm seeing in the world around me is with, with energy comes practicality. For years and years we spent or I'm particularly me, you know, head in the clouds, feet not firmly on the ground, and all of the energy is coming in for this physical process. So we are in the middle of the most incredible change, the most incredible transition, the most incredible shift. But the bit that I predicted years ago and didn't really have any concept of how or what it would look like or how it would even feel is now happening. That incredible wave of people that have been forced to wake simultaneously all at once is occurring. So the collective field experience at the moment is highly charged. It is highly volatile. It is filled with, it's filled with a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety. And, and as you all know from prior experience, it's, it's you, me and everybody else who does the job that we do to alchemize this. And uh, you might find it useful to call in a seven day downpouring of the, the golden rainbow fire, the cosmic diamond violet flame, the lilac fire of source, whichever, whichever one of these energies is most useful for you. I found myself waking up and doing this yesterday morning. If you go to my website, Google the gold, the, 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 golden ra the golden rainbow fire or the golden rainbow flame and call it in for yourself and also call it in on a planetary level because the more of this that we alchemize, the more that we the, the collectively do to negate this very intensive, volatile kind of electrified field around us, the quicker it will dissipate, the less work that the storm layer has to do will siphon off. And, the, and as soon as that starts winding down, as soon as that starts to decrease its rotation and its momentum, we are going to start feeling a lot more stable in our dimensional reality. Remember, we're a lot closer to 2032 than we actually realise. And I've always thought that we're going to be achieving what we are setting out to achieve by going from 3D to 5D a lot sooner than 2032. That was Diana Cooper's prediction when she wrote her book 2012. And this was this was some time ago. Judging by the rate of the progress um, and the speed at which we are moving forward at the moment, I, I, I really do feel in my heart of hearts we are way ahead of schedule energetically. And this is why <laughs> we're seeing so much panic and so much chaos in the field. It's always a good indicator, or always a good litmus test to see what the, what's going on with the energies by the kind of, um, uh, this is something you've heard me mention before, like almost like the Monty Python-esque behaviour of particularly like, say, for example, the, the UK politics and the people that run it and, and anybody else who kind of occasionally gets glimmers of the news it's now getting to the point where it's almost like, well, it's it, are these people actually making this stuff up in order to trigger people into a state of awakening? Because once you're awake and you can see it, it's so absurd that you just wonder why people are still buying the narrative. It's absolutely incredible. That's a different story altogether. But this is what people are being faced with, such a conflict of information, everything that would normally be acceptable is no longer acceptable and and praise be it's what's waking everybody up so stick with it boots on the ground hold your lines of light no matter what come not no matter what comes out of the gate and faces you at the moment just hold your lines hold your frequency as high as possible and if you're having trouble holding your frequency as high as possible then look to support around look for the support around you because it is there and it is existing now and there are more and more people who are now 
mobilising into action via the prompts of their soul to provide that support. So sending you all, lo all lots of love. Happy Friday. I hope you have a beautiful end of the week and a beautiful weekend as well. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye for now.